In this Elden Ring video, I'm going to be showing you my Prayful Paladin build, which is a face tanking build that gets incredible heals by attacking. At the heart of this is the Prayful Strike Ash of War. It's basically an improved heavy attack that pancakes most enemies while giving us a bunch of poise and a ton of healing. It feels so good, you're just going to want to spam it in most situations. Each time you land a hit with this skill, it's going to give us back 30% of our health. At level 100, we have 2,236 HP, which means our plus 7 flasks are only healing us for 700 HP, which is 31% of our health bar. That means even though that we're face tanking through a bunch of damage, it doesn't matter because we're essentially flasking on each attack. The Prayerful Strike, Ash of War, can only be applied to axes and maces. So we're going to choose a Colossal Weapon type to give us the most damage and reach. There are only a few to choose from because most can't be infused with an Ash of War. The Duelist Great Axe is an okay option but hard to farm. The Rotten Duelist Great Axe can only be found in the late game. And the Giant Crusher is easy to get, but requires a bunch of strength. So we're going with the Prelate's Infernal Crozier, which has good strength scaling and can easily be found by killing the boss in Fort Laid near Volcano Manor. When it comes to Talismans, I run the Carrion Filigree Crest, Dragon Crest Shield Talisman, Crimson Amber Medallion, and Green Turtle Talisman. Since we're going to be spamming a weapon skill, the Carrion Filigree Crest is going to be our most important talisman. It reduces our skill's mana cost by 25%, so we can use it 10 times without needing a mana flask. To protect our health pool, we'll equip the plus 1 Dragon Crest Shield Talisman, which increases our physical damage negation. Since the heals from our Prayerful Strike is based on the size of our health pool, we'll use the plus 1 Crimson Amber Medallion to increase it by 7%. Our weapon skill is a Stamina Hog, so we'll be using the Green Turtle Talisman to increase our stamina recovery rate. And when fighting bosses that deal a lot of non-physical damage, swap in the Pearl Drake Talisman with another Drake Talisman to double up on the damage negation of that type. This build doesn't use a specific armor set, we just want the heaviest armor that doesn't over encumber us. I'm using the Banished Knight set because it has a high amount of damage negation without adding too much weight. The playstyle is very forgiving for non-boss content, simply walk up to the enemy and use a Prayerful Strike to pancake them or kill them outright. During the windup, the skill is going to add a ton of poise so you don't have to worry about being interrupted. The attack includes a nice forward step and a long downward swing so you'll get more reach than a standard attack. And since you get a flask heal at the end, it'll undo any damage dealt to you so you can keep on attacking. For bosses, you'll just want to push face and spam prayerful strike. Most of the time you'll be able to use it three times in a row and you'll find yourself on full life but out of stamina. So you won't be struggling to constantly get distance to chug a health or mana potion, you'll just be managing your stamina bar. For attributes, this build has 60 Vigor, 29 Mine, 22 Endurance, 30 Strength, and we ignore the rest of the stats. The 60 Vigor maximizes our health without going over the second soft cap. The 29 Mine gives us 150 mana, so we can use Powerful Strike 10 times without needing a mana flask, but feel free to decrease it since we have plenty of extra flasks. The 22 Endurance is the minimum needed to keep us from becoming over encumbered, and the 30 Strength is the minimum needed to two hand the Prelate's Infernal Crozier, so if you're running different gear, feel free to change these stats up. Most builds will stack Strength, Dex, Int, Faith, and Arcane to increase damage output. But we increase our damage output by constantly attacking. Instead of blocking, attack. Instead of dodging, attack. Instead of waiting for the right opening, just attack. On bosses, there are a couple buffs that you can apply before the fight begins. If you haven't gone all murder hobo on the Black Guard, then you can buy boiled crab from him outside the royal capital. He sells an unlimited amount for 600 runes apiece. The buff lasts for 60 seconds and increases our physical damage negation by 11. You can also equip a backup dagger with the Golden Vow, Ash of War infused in it. Apply the Golden Vow, then switch back to your primary weapon. It lasts for 45 seconds, increasing your damage by 10% and all of your defenses by 5. For the Physic, I like to run the Crimson Spill and Green Burst to increase our max HP and stamina regen, but Stone Barb is also a good option. 